30 plus miles of gridlock traffic trying to get out of Tampa, Florida. This applies to you, and you must leave this area now. You're running out of time to get to safety. Nobody's getting out of Florida. Nobody's getting out. It is just as far as you can see. miles in four hours think about that it's taken us four hours to go 60 miles if you are a Florida resident and you are evacuating for this huge huge hurricane hurricane Milton that's about to slam right into the west coast of Florida and you told yourself it's okay we'll wait till Tuesday morning Tuesday night don't do it leave now because these interstates are insane we left from the st pete clearwater area and we hit traffic the second we hit howard franklin bridge and we have gone 60 miles so we're not even to ocala and we are in bumper to bumper traffic and it's raining the southbound lane is pretty free there's not a lot of cars on it and the only ones that are heading towards st pete are lineman trucks ambulances police officers and a ton of military vehicles so, if you can get gas and you can get out of there tonight, I would do it. I highly, highly recommend doing it sooner rather than later. Good luck. Not only can you ask Alexa how many people will be unalived from Hurricane Milton and she'll give you an answer. But Alexa, how many fatalities did Hurricane Milton cause? From fandom.com. In total, Milton caused 537 deaths and $112 billion in damage. But there are mass reports of people being unable to start their electrical vehicles and the vehicles saying that they can't find the keys. Literally, people from South Carolina and Florida who are supposed to be evacuating are having a mass issue with a wave of vehicles that will not start for no reason. The whole thing around Milton is really scary, especially because there are also reports of people saying that there was a prayer put over Miami to stop stuff from happening there. That there was someone who dug up a grave in Florida and that there was a lot of sinister energy and they weren't supposed to do this. And they think this is the ancient burial grounds that are responsible for all of these fucking hurricanes turning towards Florida. Don't get me started on the hurricane that's right behind Milton because Milton is rapidly intensifying to a point that does not logically make any sense or from a meteorology standpoint either. They're all freaking the fuck out. What is really going on? I'll show you why it's almost impossible for anyone to evacuate and it will piss you off. One way ticket, American Airlines from Fort Lauderdale to Columbus, $812 a person, what normally should be less than 200 a thousand dollars a person seventeen hundred dollars of twenty one hundred dollars a person my wife's flight was canceled for tomorrow morning at 7 a.m the only other flights out of the entire state of florida right now are out of fort lauderdale and they are jacking their prices up but hey you can just drive right people are wondering about evacuation and why when typically uh gas out of stock when you typically get the evacuation orders it's already too late uh, most of the gas stations where I'm at, as well as other counties and cities, are completely out of gas. By the time evacuation orders are going into place, people that are living in trailer parks, they can't afford that plane ticket out of here. They can't afford to be stuck in standstill traffic on I-4 and 75, risking their life over fuel because it's not available. The fact that people are able to price gouge these emergency evacuation tickets to these air for these airlines ridiculous the airlines need to be held accountable for this and i need and i am gonna push for desantis to get something like this put into place they should not be able to price gouge there should be a mandatory lock-in on a flatline fee evacuating flights out of the state of florida no more than a hundred dollars per person this is crazy we're in evacuation zone a apparently that's the thing if i could get out I would, but where are we going? 
Everything is booked. There's nowhere to, unless you're hopping on a plane and evacuating your family, where is everybody going? I can't go north. Everything's booked. Where am I taking six kids and four dogs and three adults to? I can't go to a hotel. I can't go to a shelter like that. I would have to book like an Airbnb or something because I can't afford to do that. We just have to hunker down. Like that's literally all we can do. And I just feel like we're sitting ducks now. I have 10 fucking ducklings to worry about. So even if they do mandatory evacuation, I don't know where, the, where am I supposed to go? Not everybody has the means to evacuate. People don't just have an extra couple hundred dollars laying around so that they can afford not only a hotel room, but the gas to get to wherever they're supposed to be going. Because in the evacuation zones, there is gridlock traffic. It took someone four hours to get 60 miles. Mm -hmm. Do you know how much gas that would take to get from point A to point B, somewhere up north where hopefully it's not as bad? A lot. Also, let's not forget the elderly people who legitimately do not have help in order to be able to get out of town. I understand that everybody just wants everybody else to be safe, but not everybody has the extra money to be able to just pick up and leave. It's literally just not that simple. It's not that simple. We're saying we're not evacuating. The highways all the way up through Florida are packed and we are putting up our hurricane shutter. I went to the store this morning. Charlotte Harbor is hunkering down once again. We do have gas and the generator for when we lose power. And I know you love following the update. These are gonna be my windows in the front so we can still see 